All right, let's jump into 2.6. It's combining functions. Combining functions, yeah. I thought I made a typo. Um, so we're gonna combine functions. We could be adding, subtracting. Um, we could also be doing those like functions in functions. Um, we'll get into all this. So I'm gonna go through the um, arithmetic ones kind of fast, assuming it's review, um, but I can link more videos if it's not review. Uh, our focus is really gonna be the composite functions, which we'll see in a second. That's really gonna be our emphasis for this section. But in case you don't remember, um, I'll remind you of adding so we can add two functions. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the definitions as I do the example below. So f plus g of x just means add the two functions together. So f plus g of x um, just means we have two functions, we're combining them by adding them. So for this example, f of x is x squared plus one, and then we're gonna add g of x, five x plus one, and that's pretty much it. Um, I see we have like terms of one and one, so it's x squared plus five x plus two would be my f plus g function. Um, I think adding is pretty straightforward, right? You just add the two functions and combine any like terms. Subtraction, I think, is also pretty straightforward. You just have to be a little cautious. So subtraction, um, f minus g of x, we're going to take f of x and we're going to subtract g of x. Um, but the most common mistake is not subtracting all of g of x. So you have to make sure you distribute that negative to the entire g of x. So it'll be x squared plus 1 and then minus 5x and minus 1. So you just want to make sure you distribute the negative to the entire function. Otherwise, I think the rest is not too bad. So remember parentheses on that second function. So f minus g of x would be x squared minus 5x, and then the 1s cancel out in this example. All right, and then we will multiply and divide. multiplying, um, right, we're just multiplying, but we have to make sure we follow the rules for multiplying. So f times g of x means f of x times g of x. So f g, which is f times g, and then we want to make sure we put parentheses because we're multiplying all of f, f of x times all of g of x. And then you can FOIL whatever method. I like boxes. We haven't done much of this in this class yet but I usually multiply with boxes. So just put one on the left side and one on top, and you just, makes it really easy to make sure you don't miss any terms. Make sure you get them all. Um, so x squared times five x is five x cubed. X squared times one is x squared. So I'm just multiplying the outside pieces. Five x times one is five x, and then one times one is one. And then if you have any like terms, you combine them. Otherwise, you just write it out. So it's 5x cubed plus x squared plus 5x plus 1. And that's fg for f times g of x. So make sure you don't miss any terms. I really like using boxes. And then the final one, f over g, division. Um, you just do top divided by bottom, assuming g is not zero, because then it would be undefined. So f over g. f is x squared plus one over five x plus one, and then five x plus one just can't equal zero in this example. And then simplify if you can, but none of these simplify. And that was the arithmetic um, for functions. So we're gonna, we need to know this, but we're really gonna focus on the composite functions because that has a lot of applications in calculus. And the whole point of this class is to prepare us for calculus. So let's define a composite function and then we'll mostly work on these for the remainder of the chapter. So a composite function is we have two functions, possibly more, um, but two for now. Um, we call it f of g. Some of you might've heard fog before. Um, it's not f times g, it's f of g. Um, and it essentially means um, we're going to plug x into g and then plug into f, which is kind of weird sounding. But basically, we're plugging a function into a function. 
So we're going to start with x. We're going to use g of x and find a value, and then we're going to use f of x, so or f of g of x. So essentially, we're doing like two machines. We're going into the first machine, and then we're outputting twice, and then outputting again. And we're kind of like taking a shortcut and jumping to the end. Um, the domain is tricky, and we'll see that in the next video. So if the definition's tricky, we will see it in a second. But the domain of the composition, um, it's the numbers in x in the domain of g, such that g is also in the domain of f. So just pause on that. We'll come back to that when we get into the next example. So let's do one table version, and then we'll look at actual equations. So f of g of x. Um, we're going to fill in the table. So this first one is saying f of g of 0. This is my x value. So I'm going to go to the table, and I'm going to find g of 0. So I go to 0, and I find the g value. So g of 0 is 2. So essentially, we have started with 0 in my first piece, and we get 2 in the middle machine. And then we're going to input 2 into f. So, and then here's 2, and we output 6. So we're basically just making a stop in the middle, right? It's like you're stopping somewhere on the way. So we're pausing at 2, and then we're going in the machine again and outputting 6. It's weird. We'll feel better, hopefully, by the end of the chapter. Um, so the next one is saying f of g of 1. My parentheses look like 1s. So we're going to go to 1 and find g of 1, which is 3. And then we find f of 3. So basically, we input 1, we output 3, but we're going to put 3 back in, and we're going to output 5, because the second row is f. So if I put 3 into f, the f function, I output 5. All right, let's try another one. I know it's crazy. So the next one is saying f of g of 2. So essentially, we're going to start with 2. We're going to plug it into the G machine, and we get 0, because here's 2. And then we're going to take 0 and plug it into the second machine, and we get, we go to 0, and F is 9. Um, and it's okay if you don't get this the first time. It is really weird. All right, next one. Let's see. We're going to do F of, my X values are up here. This is where I'm coming up with X, G of 3. So we're going to go to g. g of 3 is 1. So essentially, we started with 3, and then we get 1. And then we're going to do one more machine. So this is g. This is f. I should label that. So g takes us from 3 to 1, and then f takes us from 1 to 7. Here's 1. Here's f. All right, final one. There's lots of colors. What color have we not done? Orange. So the final one is f of g of 4. So we're going to start with 4. We're going to go in the g machine, and we get 4 again, because you see g of 4 is 4. That's OK. And then when we put 4 in the f machine, we get, here's 4, we get 13. Yeah, sorry about that. Oops. So basically, these composite functions are two functions, just kind of making a stop on the way. Um, and then we'll get into domain in the next video. So the domain definition is really tricky until we see examples. So I'll get into that next.